guys welcome back and if you're new welcome thank you for stopping by well today I wanted to just share with you guys some information about a new palette that I purchased over this last Black Friday VIB holiday sale at Sephora you know all the good stuff <laughs> everybody's been shopping buying stuff you know just it's been crazy but I did want to talk about one of the palettes that I got from Sephora and I'm really excited about it because it's one of their Sephora Pro palettes. Now the palette that I want to talk to you guys about is specifically the Smoky Jewels palette. Now these palettes from Sephora are 28 pan palettes and these are from their Pro line and these palettes are designed by their Pro artist to give you like a very nice variation of colors as well as different textures for you to use to create several different types of looks. Now there are several Sephora Pro palettes now. I'm not sure if there are six of them, but there are quite a few. And this is the one that spoke to me the most. Now as you can see, it comes in a black box with this beautiful lavender or purple type writing. And it says here on the front, the Pro Pigment Palette Smoky Jewels, and it gives you the information weight-wise for the pans. Now these palettes have pan sizes of 0.04 ounces or 1.2 grams for each pan. So that's the information on the pan size, just in case you're curious about that. Now on the back of the box, it has a lot of information listed here. It does give some basic information up here about the different shadows that are in this palette, the types of looks that you can do, I guess their thought process as far as creating this palette. Of course, it does list the ingredients here on the back. And I like how it shows the different shades that are in the palette. So it kind of gives you an idea of what this Smoky Jewels palette looks like on the inside. So that is the back of the box. I like the box. It's very nice, clean, sleek and I do plan on keeping it. <laughs> now this is what the actual palette looks like. Same look, it's black. It has a nice matte black look to it, but the writing down here of Sephora Pro is in a bit of a metallic kind of lavender shade, so I don't know if it's gonna show, but it does kind of shift a little bit. It's not extremely metallic, but it is very, very pretty, and these palettes are very nicely constructed, made of good quality. And on the back, it does just have the information again, the name, the pan size, weight, and it does have a 12 month shelf life for these shadows. Now let me go ahead and open this up so you can take a look. Now when you open it up, there is a very, very nice, very nice large mirror in here it's the size of the whole palette so it's a gorgeous gorgeous mirror the colors in this palette are just beautiful <laughs> at least to me they are beautiful very rich like it says highly pigmented just gorgeous out of all of the sephora pro palettes this is the one that spoke to me the most because I do love color. If you guys are <laughs> familiar with me and my channel, you know that I love color. Now they do have some other palettes that are a little more neutral tone, a little more softer. They have a pa uh, pastel type palette, a more neutral warm palette. They also have the bold editorial palette, the original editorial palette, which I do own because my lovely friend Bridget got that for me when we did our makeup swap. So that was my first experience with one of the Sephora Pro palettes. And I knew after using the original editorial one that I really, really like them. So this is what this palette looks like. There are names listed here. Let me go ahead and just flip this over. So this is what the shades look like in this Smoky Jewels palette. And I'm really, really glad that they did go ahead and list the names on this palette because the first palette that I have, it has the little clear sheet with the names on there. But as you can see, it does list names that have to do with different stones. It has garnet, amethyst, 
um, ruby, things like that. So it sticks with the whole theme of smoky jewels. So, so that is what this palette looks like on the inside. Let me go ahead and do some swatches for you guys so you can see how this palette swatches. These shades are extremely gorgeous. I love them. Now, the two shades that I really don't care for in this palette are shades that are kind of like basically glitter to me. They seem to be like glitter to me and they don't really have a lot of pigment. And those two shades would be this one up here, which is Crystal. It looks like a nice shimmer shade, but it's really just like glitter to me. And the other shade is Drizzy. So this shade right here is just kind of like a glitter. Let me go ahead and swatch those two for you. So this one is Crystal. And this one is Drizzy. So as you can see, you can really just barely see them because they're really more like a glitter. And... To me, I really can't do anything with those. <laughs> so those two shadows, I probably will not be using. Now, my favorite shades out of this palette, I would have to say is definitely Indigo, which is this gorgeous blue down here, of course. And I really, really love Fern. This green shade here is very, very pretty as well. I'm a little bit biased because I do love blues and greens. So those will be my favorite shades. Now these palettes, I don't believe I mentioned it, but they do come with a protector in the palette. When you purchase it, they are $68. So they're not inexpensive or cheap palettes by any means. I didn't have any problem with using these shadows. I think they are nicely pigmented. And with all eyeshadow palettes, I believe you kind of have to sometimes tweak how you use them. Like this palette, one extreme negative for is that the kick up is out of this world. <laughs> for these Sephora Pro palettes, I'm telling you, if you don't like kick up, and powder in the pan you're not gonna like it it's gonna bother you but for me that doesn't really bother me like I always say in all of my videos I don't mind kick up as long as I can get the pigment so even though it's a dust storm when you use these palettes <laughs> if you don't mind that I for this palette at least I will speak for the pigment is there so I really like it. In my opinion, it was worth $68, although I am very, very happy that I was able to get 20% off <laughs> with my VIB sale. So, you know, I couldn't pass it up. So that's just my thoughts. I like the selection of shades for this Smoky Jewels palette. The black is a very nice black. You do get the mattes, the satins, and the shimmers. So... It is a nice range of colors to play around with. And with there only being two shadows that I really don't like and I know I won't use out of the palette, that's still 26 shadows that I will definitely be using. Now some people along with myself, when we first saw this palette, we were wondering if this palette is really, really close and similar to the Born to Run. Because when you look at it, I feel like it does really remind you of the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. So, and this is what the packaging looks like just in case you haven't seen it or you don't have it. It's a very, very cute palette and it also has a mirror inside. I don't want to blind you guys, but there's a mirror in there as well. 
it's nice because this palette actually folds back so you don't have to worry about the mirror getting in your way but these are the shadows from the born to run palette so let me see if i can hold both of these up so as you can see they are very very similar in you know the color story the tone the feel the shades in these two palettes now i will say the smoky jewels does have more gorgeous blues in it the blue type shadows that are in the born to run palette are how can i say they're more of an aqua tone blue you know more along the lines of a green blue as opposed to these really really blue shades in the smoky jewels now i did swatch both of these palettes on my arm earlier today just to kind of get a feel for how similar they are so i'll go ahead and just insert that picture here so you can take a look for yourself and compare how they swatch So as you can see, the Born to Run palette only has 21 shadows instead of the 28, but that's still a nice amount of shadows to create similar looks. The Born to Run is $49, and like I said, this palette is $68. So that's just a brief comparison of these two palettes. So if you'd like to see how I use the Sephora Pro Smoky Jewels to create this look that I'm wearing today, then stay tuned because it's coming up next.